Hi guys, this is Jade, and this is part one of my This Week on Anime for the Crunchyroll 2016 Best of Anime poll. Um, as many of you know, I actually have a little bit of an issue with this. I'm a little bit salty, if you will. But that's okay, because I'm going to put my personal feelings aside in order to properly review, if you would, this poll for the entirety of 2016 anime. So first, I want to say, Crunchyroll, congratulations. You guys put out a really nice-looking poll. It was very flashy. It was very slick. I thought it was fucking awesome. You also had a really good panel um, of people represented. Um... So I thought all of that was great. I thought the way you guys promoted on Twitter, I thought the videos you made, I thought it was all very eye-catching, and it definitely got people to talk about your poll. Unfortunately, they weren't necessarily talking about how great it was. Um, and here's, I'm just, in this little mini part that I'm doing to kick off my This Week on Anime series, I'm going to be talking a little bit about what you basically did to make it so off-putting to so many of us that you've basically been ignoring my tweets. So, um, I just want to kind of point out some of these things, but I also want to give you credit where it's due. Unfortunately, there aren't many examples of where there's credit due where it's, it's a good thing. So, uh, the first thing I want to talk about is if you don't like an anime, don't watch it. If you're going to make a personal best of list, and let me make this very clear, a personal best of list is saying, hey, these are the five anime I thought were fucking awesome. I think they're amazing, and I think you guys should watch them, and they're all from 2016, and have at it. That's your personal opinion, and that's awesome. I think it's great that you have one. And if you want to push, you know, the trendiest things, if you want to push the most action-y things, or the most flashy things, then by all means, go right on ahead. However, if you're going to post it on a site, specifically a site that hosts news, specifically a site that is part of anime distribution and has become a huge front runner in anime distribution and anime knowledge throughout the United States and promoting anime culture and the subculture that we have established here, um, I really think that you should give just a bit more thought to what is actually being represented on your poll. Is it something that is indicative of the times? Is it something that is indicative of the anime that actually came out this year? Do you have timeless anime represented? Do you have, you know, a broad spectrum of anime and a broad spectrum of categories in order to give each of those anime a chance to shine? In other words, are you just pushing the same four or five anime over and over and over, a lot like the Academy Awards that a lot of people have been really disillusioned with? Or are you actually giving the time and attention needed to series that maybe you overlooked or maybe series that everybody's going batshit crazy for, but that you don't personally feel like watching? Now, I can't say that each person on the Crunchyroll panel did or didn't watch certain series that weren't represented, like Haikyuu and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, which only had one person represented, which was Best Villain. Um, but it just seems a little strange that when you have something as timeless and as classic as JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, something that has permeated multiple cultures the world over with its influence and with its art, even going as far as to being represented in the Louvre, I find it a little strange that we're not even going to mention it for best action or best anime, even though you can literally find hundreds upon hundreds of representations of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure referenced throughout massive amounts of anime and manga. So I find this a little bit disheartening that that's the case in terms of Crunchyroll's um, poll this year. It's not representative. It's not represented for best anime. It's not represented for best action. And I find that a little bit appalling because in a year where you have something as iconic and as important culturally and to just the anime subculture as JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, shouldn't it at least get a mention? But that wasn't on Crunchyroll's agenda, I guess, because they only wanted to list four anime that you could vote on for action and for best anime. And I find that to be a little bit disheartening. So, again, if you don't like something, don't watch it. If you're going to make a personal anime recommendation list, that's great. Don't put something like that on there. Don't even mention it. Like, why would you? It's your personal list. But if you're going to be an industry leader and you're going to carry as much clout as you do when you say the names Funimation, Viz, Sentai, Aniplex, Crunchyroll, Anime News Network, you know, I mean, take into consideration what you're actually representing here whenever you put together one of these polls and the type of people you're trying to appeal to. So, yeah, maybe just next time, put some people on the panel who are a little bit more versed in things that aren't, I don't know, yaoi. 
thank you guys again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, sorry it's a little short, trying to keep everything under five minutes, and that's a little tough. If you liked what you saw, part two is coming up. I uh, hope that you will also check me out on Twitch, where I do little tiny rants throughout uh, the streams, and also all of my speed drawing videos below. So thank you guys for all the support. Please like, follow, subscribe, or whatever else the hell it is you guys do on social media. I have no idea. So I'll see you guys later.